Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about quick ways to change the facial appearance of your G3 characters. So we're going to talk about uh, customizing the facial sprites on your characters and just basically how to replace these and modify them for different looks for your character's face in a really quick and easy way. So we're going to start with the character on the screen here. We're going to go over to Actor under Character G3 Human and we'll use our Elastic Folk, Elastic Folk's male uh, front facing right here and uh, he's going to be our test subject for the day. So let's uh, zoom in on his face here. You can see his handsome smile. Now let's take a look at uh, how we can animate this uh, face first by going over here to our Facial Puppet tool. Okay, in the Facial Puppet tool there's various animation profiles for different characters and each profile has a uh, different kind of face control. So there's like general, smiley, angry, sad, happy, and scared. And you can just press space to preview these. You can see the results right there. Our facial sprites are morphing and moving about according to, uh, you know, which expression we are trying to convey here. This one's kind of angry, uh, like that, and uh, stuff like this. this is a sad one. Uh, this one's happy. You can see the big happy smile there. So all these sprites are again stretching and uh, you know being replaced at certain intervals by uh, different sprites. Uh, according to the severity of the uh, expression. All right, so we'll talk about that a little bit later after we uh, modify our character. So that's the first thing we want to do is uh, modify the facial sprites of our character by going into composer mode. So in composer mode, let's take a look at the face. We're going to zoom in on the face here. I'm going to get rid of these bones uh, for temporarily here. We're going to deselect show bone. Now let's take a look at the face. Now we're going to explore the content manager really quick here first. So in the content manager, you can go over to the head section here. And under head, you'll find a lot of stuff like uh, different faces that you can apply to your character. These are the facial you know, backgrounds, obviously, for different types of characters. Now a lot of these uh, folders you may not have because these are downloaded from uh, previous uh, content packs for Crazy Talk Animator 2 and also Crazy Talk Animator 1, okay? Uh, so something like this head composer kit you may not have. Just keep that in mind, okay? And the brow, we have like, you know, similar folders as well. All sorts of fun stuff that we can, you know, scroll through. And you can see all the uh, different eyebrows that we have. Uh, there's also eyes as well. So a whole ton of different types of eyes that you can apply. And anything that's G2 is also uh, sprite based or also uh, vector based rather and can be used on your G3 heads because G3 characters have vector based heads. Okay. So they can uh, use any of these sprites uh, from G2 characters as well. Now, you cannot use morph eyes or morph uh, mouths or anything like that uh, that's related to the morph stuff. If I try to apply the eyes here, you can see that, uh, whoops, we get an uh, error message that says you cannot apply an image-based eye to a vector-based actor. If we go to our regular eyes here, we go to like our G2 uh, head composer kit right here, we can you know, click any one of these eyes and it'll replace the eyes on our character. Let's give you a couple of examples here. Um, so you can see there's tons of variety in addition to the regular uh, G2 ones that come embedded with Crazy Talk. Uh, you can use these as well. So these ones will be embedded with uh, every feature of Crazy Talk. So these nice uh, um, eyes with some eyeshadow there and everything. So that's the sprite based eyes. Um, the morph mouth, you can also not use those as well since they're morph based. But uh, for the mouths, we can also use something like uh, these G2 mouths, for example. Um, you can see these ones come embedded with uh, crazy talk animator so we can replace it with a uh, set of big juicy red lips there and we can also go into uh, g2 head composer kit and use something like this uh, you know, uh, pirate goatee johnny depp type goatee there uh, any any one of these as well you can just uh, you know throw those in there and use them on totally customize your character i'm going to give this character a uh, set of big red lips here because we're going to kind of turn it into a female character here in the end. So let's go ahead and use this. Now uh, we're going to talk about uh, customizing uh, the character in just a moment but in addition to uh, replacing the sprites you can also just double click on the sprite and once you do that it'll open up the sprite editor and you can also access it by going over here on the left hand side. But uh, you can see all the different uh, facial sprites right here. Um, each uh, each item in, in this content library here has a whole collection of uh, facial sprites. So these ones are for, uh, these last ones here are used for facial uh, lip sync, for automatic lip sync on your character. And the first uh, 21 here or so are used for, you know, expressions of the face like this. Okay, so you can do that with the eyes as well. If you select the eye, you can see there's different uh, eye sprites. So that's basically uh, 
keep in mind that every single uh, item here, every, every single G2 or vector-based item will have an entire sprite library behind it. So you can use all of these various uh, features as well. Okay, so let's just keep those eyes right now and keep the mouth. Now, let's add some eyebrows in there as well. Let's, let's customize the look of our character a bit more. So let's go into the browse section here and we're going to add in some brows as well. So in the character composer kit, you can see there's uh, you know different eyebrows that you can add in. We can replace with uh, you know these kind of eyebrows, maybe some uh, more feminine type eyebrows, uh, you know thinner uh, feminine type eyebrows. And also with, with the uh, regular G2 embedded stuff, there's also a number of different eyebrows here. Like these ones are kind of more thick and uh, you know angry looking. Uh, you can and also you can move these around as well. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's talk a little bit about how you can move these sprites around. So when you select a uh, sprite. If you have a blue selection box, that's going to mean that you're moving the actual bone of the uh, character. If you go over here to the sprite editor, you'll notice that it'll have a, a green box around it. So that'll be for modifying the sprite itself. But let's go into uh, make sure that we have the blue box, and you can also uh, show bones. You can show the uh, facial bones there as well if you want. Uh, I don't really need that right now, so I'm just going to deselect show bones, and we can you know take our uh, eyes and we can move them around. Let's uh, you know move them up here, maybe a little bit uh, maybe a little bit lower there. Or right above the ears, and we can also modify uh, the height and width of it. If we want to, uh, you know, combine these two or uh, lock them together, we can use this button here to lock them. Use a value of maybe like 75, take it down about 25% there. We can do the same thing for the left eye. So then we have uh, some smaller eyes right there. All right, still have that uh, big fancy nose, but uh, then we can also do the same thing for the uh, for the nose and the lips. So let's move this down a little bit. Now the lips, if we don't want to, uh, see we want to stretch out the lips a little bit on the uh, X axis here, we can do that as well. So we can stretch it out this way if we take off the uh, ratio lock there. Maybe stretch them out a little tiny bit there. And then we can take these eyes here and uh, move them down a little bit. And you can also rotate them if you'd like. Do something like this. And uh, get a completely different uh, look in just a couple of seconds here by, you know, uh, just replacing these sprites, adding them in. And if you want, you can also do some, uh, you know, cool looking hair as well by going over here to uh, hair. And give our character some different looking hair. Um, you know, in G2, these are the embedded ones here. You can use any of these hairstyles. Uh, there's also the G2 Head Composer Kit. Again, these are previous uh, packs that you can purchase from the content store separately. I'll just use this embedded one here for now. We're going to make it look like a uh, female character. So we'll use this uh, hair right here along with the uh, ponytail. And once you just double click that, it's going to replace the current hair. But you can see now we need to uh, move it down a little bit. So let's move it down to about here. And we're also going to need to change the layer position of uh, these items here as well. So we can you know, place the uh, ponytail out there a little bit. And we can probably make this hair a little bit smaller. And then what you want to do is you want to go over here to the layer manager. If you don't want the hair to be like this, you know, behind the head, it does look okay this way actually. But if you want it to be, uh, you know, in front of the forehead there, you can also go to the layer manager. And under talking head, you'll find all of the facial sprites right here. And so we want to take the front hair all the way up in front of the eyes, maybe behind the brows. So you can have the brows over top of the, uh, of the, um, hair if you want like in some sort of cartoons they have this the eyebrows above the hair um, but, but it really all depends on you I kind of like it above the hair there um, but yeah so now we have this you know uh, female looking character right here pretty cool so we can do that all in just a few seconds totally customize the appearance of the character and you can use different faces and everything like that as well but I just wanted to do a really quick transformation here uh, maybe he's going incognito as a, a spy or something, so dressing up like a woman. All right, so let's go over here to uh, back to the stage mode, and let's take a look at how we can animate this uh, character now, too. So we sh I showed you the uh, facial puppet tool a little bit earlier. Let's go back into that facial puppet tool here. And you can see now that we'll have, you know, very similar uh, uh, results. The vector-based uh, items here will stretch and move around like this. Uh, this is the sad one, I believe. And then here's the... Uh, you know, happy uh, result here, okay? And this one maybe is very sad and upset. And you'll notice as well, 
if you move to extreme sections, like if you move way down here, notice that uh, the brows, for example, will you know move in front of the eyes. And obviously, we don't want the brows to move in front of the eyes like that. Um, this one's a kind of a prime example here, where you'll see the brows go way down there. And you know, we don't want something like that. We don't want the brows to be moving too strongly like that. So a quick fix for that, if you ever come across that, is just to go over here to your advanced puppet settings. And we won't go into too much detail here, but basically you can just, uh, you know, under browse, browse right and browse left, you can change these values to something a bit smaller, like uh, 20 or 10 or whatever. And once we use something like 20, and then we uh, preview that, you can see now that we will not have as extreme of results as we did before. So the eyebrows will kind of, you know, stay relative to uh, where they're supposed to be. And you can click your mouse button to uh, blink and show off that beautiful eye shadow. And there you go. So that's really about all there is to it, guys. Just wanted to show you a way you can really quickly modify the facial features of your character using uh, content from previous packs or previous generations of Crazy Talk Animator. In just a couple seconds, you know, create a totally different looking character. Uh, it's, it's kind of not really passing here. It kind of looks like a very similar character, just uh, dressed like a female, but uh, you kind of get the point. Anyway, so uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Again, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully you learned a lot. And uh, make sure you check out our forums as well at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.